So, um, this last weekend I went with my mother, this little rinky dink town that has a population of maybe two, <laughs> maybe three. Um, and uh, they still have their dance hall bar, right? But the church and the school have been uh, gone for quite a few years. But anyway, they were honoring all the people who had died from the parish um, in the last couple of years with, a, you know, a, a blessed candle. And so she was taking my grandpa there. Um, and <laughs> so she's always talked about this lady. Okay. And I'm not going to name names, but she always talks about this. And she's just, just this cute, lovable little lady that um, will take food from places. Okay. <laughs> She's talked about her, and I just, okay, yeah, you know. She's saving it for later, or whatever. But, um, so we go to this mass, you know, and then there's this, a lunch afterwards, and I'm sitting across from this lady, you know, and talking to her, and, you know, not putting anything together. Um, just happened to notice that, you know, I was just like, did she have breast cancer, you know, because... One was a little, one side was a little more op lopsided than the other, you know, and then after a while I was like, you know, because, you know, I was talking to her, so you just kind of see, and it was like, it just seemed fuller in the, f like, right here, and I'm just like, I, I don't know, I got nothing, right? Didn't pay attention, okay? Wasn't paying attention. But when my aunt handed her a wrapped up um, poppy seed roll, about this big in a napkin, right, for her to take home because they had so much um, leftover desserts. They were, you know, just, just take it. They didn't want it. And um, anyways, <laughs> like faster than you can say, holy Hannah, she had that thing like tucked in her shirt and just like, choo -choo. and I'm just like, okay, that makes sense. That's where all the lumps are coming from. But what did she all put in there? You know, and I just started laughing. I was like, like, I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, you're that person. And she's like, I don't put my checkbook in there, though. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's good. You know, <laughs> it's a snack for the road. But I was like, it explained all the, the funny lumps. But all I could think of is, what did she put in there? Right? Like, there wasn't a lot. It was just a simple ham sandwich you know, which is probably something that ended up in there, you know, um, you know, your pickle, your sides, your, you know, that was it, you know, I was like, when did you put it in there? Oh, <laughs> this is so funny, because <laughs> I think my mom said something about telling my aunt she was supposed to tell so-and-so, you know, don't be, don't, don't be taking food unless, you know, they gave it to you, because it was a, Okay, I'm sorry. I found it just so funny. Like, so funny. Like, I mean, I know there's... My sister-in-law will stick her uh, cigarettes in her bra or her sometimes money or whatever. But I'll, I... I I'm, like, and she was fast. Like, it wasn't like she had a, a low shirt or anything. I mean, isn't you know, but she was... She had it fast tucked in there and she was gone, you know? <laughs> it's like so crazy. <laughs> Oh, aren't they fun, church functions? I was so exhausted when I got home. I took a nap. Visiting is hard work. Have you ever noticed that? I don't think the holidays are so exhausting as far as, you know, what, you know, well, Christmas prepping. But, you know, when it comes down to it, I think it's just the visiting. The sitting around and visiting is so exhausting. But anyway... <laughs> And half of those stories. Today we're some starting the summer soap series that actually came out already. <laughs> that is yes, yes. My life is just ah, scramble. So the summer soap series actually started with Bora Bora. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. It's okay. We're not doing this like the tea soaps. These will, these have to come out sporadically. So. <laughs> Oh, but this one, this soap is, 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 oh, 
mermaid tails not exactly t a i l s but t a l e s mermaid tails um it was fun it's a fun soap as a crazy soap uh so this is one of the summer soaps there should be like three or four maybe five total i can't remember okay but anyway three things dream big be true to you you are worth it i'm tanya from tanya's witchy kitchen and let's go check out these mermaid tails soaps and to the soap mermaid tails <laughs> So my oils are really cold. They've been sitting there um, over the course of the day. And no, no, I did the, I, I poured them at night and then did my lie in the morning. But yeah, the oils are cold. They're like 70 degrees. So, <laughs> and my lye water's cold. So 70 degrees, so it's no big deal. Right? So if you want to know my colors, I used... The, the pink is Voodoo Mica from Mad Micas. The purple is a blend of Grape Ape by Mad Micas and Queen's Purple by Brambleberry. The green is Kelly Green by Brambleberry. And that silver color is Silver Mist by Nurture Soap. And the blue in my little shot glass that is the way I like to do things it's if I need to pour off a color um you know and put it in the bigger container later that's the way I like to do it that is um, mermaid blue from Brambleberry and this scent is uh, 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 living coral reef I think is what it is I have Coral Reef, but I think it's Living Coral Reef by Wholesale Supplies. Plus, um, yeah, so this was a plan, and this was a fairly well-executed plan, but yet not really. Uh, <laughs> looking back, I'm like, why didn't I just stick with my original thought? But it doesn't matter. It's fine. So each of these uh, got about five ounces in them. It was just barely past emulsion you guys like just barely past um and I was actually worried it was gonna be muddy because um you will see it is it was beautiful it was beautiful this is a slightly different blend I actually have grapeseed oil in here and it's heavy on the olive my coconut and tallow must be about 25 percent and then just a small 5% castor, which is odd for me. I usually run castor at 10%. Um, not sure why I didn't, but if you care, that's what's in here. <laughs> uh, yeah. But, yeah. So, see? Shot glass. Mm. I don't have to throw it away or anything. I just wash it and reuse it. Perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah, I needed these liquid. Because I was going to do, I don't even know what the pour is. It's kind of like a wood grain pour. You probably could do this as a wood grain pour. I've seen people do it. Um, I think otherwise it's called a thin lines pour. Maybe? Drop swirl? We'll call it drop swirl. This is exactly, almost, not quite, but close to the same thing I do with my love potion number question mark. Um, like how, look how fluid that is, you guys. It is so, so fluid. So, so runny. I was like, why don't I do this for my, um, 70s soap, right? I just made that the other day. Yep. But it was, it turned out well. It turned out well. What, however, whatever recipe that has in it turned out really well. Um. But yeah, basically just going back and forth, back and forth, and with the different colors, doing a, a, a drop swirl. Yeah, you can't call it thin lines pour because it's almost too liquid for that. Um, I wanted these colors dark. I wanted them beautifully dark and mysterious, like a mermaid, right? 
my um, grandson helped me tweak the colors just a little bit. <laughs> I was debating. I had a few other, you know, did I, should I do a pink, like a baby pink? But then he was like, no, he liked the voodoo. Um, I don't think it's red, whatever, voodoo makeup better than the pink. He thought the pink was not the right color. And then we debated over Savage Garden from Nurture Soap. That's a beautiful dark green. And he liked the vibrant Kelly green. So, yeah. Thank you to my grandson for helping me pick these out. Um, yeah. Yeah. So basically, I don't do anything. I just, you know, do back and forth. The thicker it gets, the more it wants to sit on the top. And I have to, like, try and go a little higher and push it down. The Love Potion one, I go one way. So I go the long length of the mold. And then after I'm done pouring each color, I flip it. And then go back and forth the short way. I know that's really crazy, and when I do it, I really have to concentrate so that it I do it the same way, so it looks kind of the same. You know, it's really hard to, like for me to get the exact same squirrels this one does, and it's almost impossible. You know, literally impossible. But it'll be the same colors, it'll be the same drop swirls, it will be just not perfectly drop swirl. For some reason, the blue was a little heavier, and I could <laughs> get, it, get it to drop a little better, but yeah. I mean, that's, that's all it is. It's, it's, but boy, yeah, you know, you know what would happen if this was Bora Bora, right? And chunky, not chunky, but just too thick, because as you can see, it's already starting to sit on top of my soap, so yeah, I'm just take it up higher and higher and make it, um, try and push all those upper layers, um, down as much as possible. Here comes the blue plonk. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, what else can you do with it? Okay. So for the top, the top's a little bit a little bit different and it took a while oh my gosh so I might not do this again you guys I might do it a little different but so the top will vary okay unless you all email me and say no no leave the top the way it is um so I have this little cardboard piece that I just cut out okay and I want to make the tail be the top of the soap okay want it to be the top of the soap. Um, I'm not very good at these cardboard things at all. It's called sculpting the soap. I think that's what some people call it. And I'm just going to put the extras into that little mold there. And of course it's going to be muddy as heck. But um, yeah, you'll see that when it's cut. But yeah, that was my genius plan. But it took forever, forever to let this set up like it was so soft so runny actually I had to let it set up even longer in the mold I didn't freeze it I could have froze it I guess but um uh yeah it took an extra day it was so soft so utterly soft and then I was just trying to get a really good scrape on it <laughs> I don't know why I just I don't I don't know why and it's just, that was my plan, you guys. This was my plan. Should have sprayed it a little more. Look at that. Look at that soda ash on there. Like, it is unbelievable. Unbelievable. It was like I wasn't even going to take it out of the mold. I just waited for my steamer and um, tried to steam. Gosh, my kids are loud. Uh, my family is loud. <laughs> So, anyways, well, I, I hope you can't hear them in the background, but, um, yeah, so I took my steamer to this and did the best I could, but what I forgot to do originally, um, and I'm really glad I didn't, being I had to steam this so heavily, um, was I ended up forgetting to put the mica on top that I originally wanted to put on, and this is, um... 
Oh, what is that called? What is it called? Oh, blue, blue and a gold enigma, gold enigma, an enigma by Nurture Soap. You cannot use this in cold process soap. It will look white. Okay, so for the tops of soaps or for melt and pour, it will look gold or they have a blue, a red, a pink, maybe. I can't remember what colors they all had. Um, but, you know, a mermaid, a mermaid, she has to have some bling. She's she's this pretty sparkly, um, if you watch Pirates of the Caribbean, excessively mean. No. <laughs> mermaid. <laughs> so, Gold Enigma. These two were the little ones I had extra. They were not sea popped. Look how dull they are. Like, look at that. Look at the side of that. Isn't that beautiful? That is what C pop does. And my C pop is 170 degrees for about an hour in the oven. And then I shut it off and just let it sit there as long as possible. Sometimes overnight, if I get lucky. I'm so sorry about my filming, you guys. I was, I don't know what happened. I really don't know what happened, but I'm wonky. That's what I am. I'm wonky. But um, these are pretty. Okay, do you see the tail? Do you see what I mean? Or my tail? Yeah. Okay, so the top probably will be uh, different. Yeah. Maybe it'll be more, like, scalloped or something. I was going to trim them. I would debate on trimming them, like, just cutting the edges off. Um, you know, to give it a little more, like, tail tail. But, um, uh, nah, there's already enough. It's It's just soap, guys. It's just soap. It's so pretty, though. I am so impressed with the colors. So impressed. Because I was so worried after I pulled the, looked at those two and saw the top of my soap. And I was so worried that they were not going to be the beautiful jewel tones that I was going for with this. But they was well executed on my behalf, amazingly. And the C pop and Gel sure as heck helped it out, didn't it? Look at that difference, guys. Look at that. It's, that's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And here are the fragrance notes for this bar. And there you have it. Mermaid Tales. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for dropping by. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.